And welcome back to Until Dawn, the Let's Play. This is, uh, and let's see where we left off. Just me for today. Abby has decided to go back to Diablo 3 and go kill a bunch of stuff. I guess I get to play as Josh at the moment. Didn't, no, not really playing, been... just kind of moving around. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm sorry about before, man. I, I thought you killed Jess. Yeah, good excuse. I was wrong. Yeah, you were wrong. All right. Just remember, it was a big, big practical joke by the heir of a movie mogul or something. Explains the theater and all of the special effects knowledge. No. No. Okay. Something's dead. What are we freaking out about, dude? Oh wait, you're the psychopathic one, that's right. I didn't want you to die. Oh, you should have thought about that before you started trying to fake kill people. You and your overalls. Uh walk slower. Seriously, this isn't even exposition, it's just wasting time. Anything, anything, Bueller, nope, just get in the water. Well, at the very least, we should be done with our capture weirdness, as we're no longer using the previous capture card. We've now upgraded to an Elgato HD60. So, hopefully it won't keep freaking out in the middle of the capture. Okay, there's something in the water. And didn't they see that at all? Well, apparently Mike saw it now. And he took the fall. Okay! Uh... No, I think that's real. And it's killing you. And it's your sister. That's awesome. And what are we gonna do about it? Okay... Okay... So I guess when you become a Wendigo, you're no longer yourself. That would make sense. Alright, so Josh is dead. Not really a huge loss there. He was kind of insane anyway. So let's see what Matt has to do for himself. Yes, grab the lighter. And then we get to light the thing. Come on, let's go. Yes. Alright. Yeah, proud of yourself. Let's go wander around with your little lamp of glory. Anything? Okay. I think they're all in the same mine, so I guess that would make sense. Can we go through this door? Anything? Nope. Okay. Just slowly wander around. Oh, there we go. Now we held up the lantern. Let's see what we got over here. One of the things about this is, why has it got to be so slow? I know they're building suspense, but... I don't know. Why are we looking at a random grate to find out? Makes no sense. Go faster. Let's see what else is in this room. Anything? Anything? No, probably not. But I'll keep looking around anyway. No. You hear the music. The music is great. The music is just ramping up. It's like, let's get you nervous. Because something's going to happen to you, no matter what you try to do. All the dust in the air. To mine. Of course there's dust in the air. I think that's just like a horror trope of some sort. Oh, pick up the lantern. Let's look around. Anything? No. See, at least there's still power down here, for some odd reason. Alright. Like, there's no point to, to this being a scene other than to spook you. Which it's doing. It's definitely spooky. Okay. I agree. That was a horn. Yeah, hide. Just, who cares? Hide. 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 Other mouse button. Hide. 
even though hiding never works. And you've got a lantern, which is giving away your position. So never mind, that was stupid. Don't move. It's gonna kill you anyway. Okay. You're bound. There's nothing you can do. So just go the same way it was going. That makes sense. And then stop. All of this makes sense. So probably should have just run in the first place. Keep running. You're gonna die. It doesn't matter what happens. You're gonna die. Oh, I actually did the quick button. That's always good. Don't just stand there. Keep going. Stupid idiot. Okay, is it getting to be daylight? Are we almost rescued? I totally missed the time before. Oh, here we are still climbing up the crevasse. Sam, mine. 636. Yeah, it's got to be dawn soon. Uh, climb. Let's see if I can remember the quick buttons. Square is left, I think. Circle is right. Two out of two. Uh, jump it. Let's see if we can get these quick buttons. So far, we're doing good. Almost got that one. Yay! I swear. I figure over time we'll get better at the quick events. Oh, right, she has her headlight on. I'm like, where is this flashlight coming from? This makes no sense. Okay, that came from over to the right, so we're gonna go left. Can we go left faster? What else do we got? Anything down here? Glinties, glinties, glinties. Nope. Okay, keep going down the path. I love how it's just nonchalant. I'm just gonna kind of walk around, you know, no hurry. There's no deadly creature after me. I'm not trying to get somewhere for help. Just a nice, lovely stroll in the snow after most of my friends are dead. Perfect sense is made here. Although I guess you could say that, you know, after a night like that, you'd be perfectly calm just wandering around. Oh, there's something here. What is it? What is it? What is it? Oh, a drop. Goody. After we just came out of a hole, let's drop into another one. Oh, it's water. That would make sense. How are these people not dead of hypothermia yet? I don't understand. Alright, let's go wandering through the water. The deep, deep water that we should really just be swimming through instead of walking. Okay. Keep going. Scaring intensifies. And see, the music changed. It's like, we know you're going to be hosed, so just get used to it. Okay, come on. I don't even remember where we're going. That's okay, though. Just slowly wander through. Oh, I forgot. L1 is power walk. Let's power walk through. I don't think it's going to make a difference. There's something glinting up here. What the heck is making all that noise? Another drop. Okay. Oh, let's see if we die. Nope. Just falling and breaking our legs. I'm grunting a lot, I swear. We don't escape with quietude here, that's for sure. Oh, are we back at the cabin? No, oh, looks like a cabin. Oh, this place. This is where the other guy died. Okay. Now we run. I see how it is. I sense a quick event coming. Yep, quick event. It's one. I agree. You are screwed, lady. Where are we gonna go? What are we gonna do? Oh! Oh, crap. Of course I tripped over it. I always get that one wrong. Alright, let's see if anybody's in the house. Just make more noise, it's okay. Nope. Nobody here. And it's going to kill you. Where did you come from? Oh gosh. You look terrible. Oh, thanks. Gonna look worse if we stay out here. Suggestions? Come on. See, judging by that guy's jacket, he has seen some shit. Oh, look at that. Now we break the window. 
That seems sensible. So much dust in the house, I swear. Unless enough of the windows are broken that it's snow. It's hard to tell. Mike, what happened to Josh? Josh is dead. I got him. God, what an awful way to go. You don't know anything about it. How do you know how he went? Yeah. Not good. Let's not... Uh, the, the switch didn't even move. What the heck? What do you think we should do? We should check the basement. Why should you check the basement? Maybe someone left down there. Oh, yeah, that's true. You just kind of abandoned people down there, didn't you? Why aren't you coming along? Why aren't you coming with me? Why are you just standing there? Where did you go? I don't... Oh, he went down, like, the actual stairs. That would make sense. I just went the wrong way, that's all. Yeah, check the picture out again. See if there's anything new here. Anything? Nope. Ready for senior prom. Since all of you are dead, it no longer... Ma oh, you are following me around. Look at that. Huh? <laughs> See if there's anything here. No, we probably need to go down to the basement. All right. I know it's so cold. Where are the dang stairs? Oh, that's right. They're back here. Down into the depths of the basement. See, this is this is just wrong. This place is huge. Casually walk into the basement. You don't know if there's anything scary down there. They don't even have a weapon. Why don't they even have a bat? Oh, you're in the projector room. How do you rate our chances of survival? That makes yeah. sense. I'm trying not to think about it. Yeah, because you're not going to. That's pretty much what that means. Okay. Alright, that's two of them. Uh, run. I wonder what it means I always go left with that. Guess we'll find out. Why are we all just standing here? This makes no sense. Ah, right, that's why. Oh, that's right, we figured out that they're T Rexes. You can only see movement. Oh, don't move, these six axis. It wants you to move. It's daring you to move. How can they tell? Okay, they can't. They just see movement. That just seems like a really stupid idea. How would that even happen that way? Why is that one so much bigger? <laughs> oh, good. Gas leak. Just what we need. Nothing's better than a gas leak. And this guy has a brilliant idea. Let's blow up the house. I'm pretty sure they disproved most of this on Mythbusters. Like, you can't just do this. It just doesn't work that way. Uh-oh. Yeah, just... Okay. So it has a good sense of hearing, but a bad sense of seat. That makes sense. Stupid magical windigos. This would hurt. How do you know you're gonna break that without breaking the filament? Because seriously, you need a spark. How did it see him? Let's see what happens if we do this. I should have saved Mike, but oh well. No quick events, no quick events. Oh, I killed Mike. And I killed her. I'm apparently an asshole. I did not see that coming. I didn't think I was going to kill both of them. Oops. Uh-oh. There's a helicopter coming. We have visual. The main structure is completely destroyed. Over. Yeah, what a surprise. Okay. Hold on. I'm seeing something. It looks 
there are survivors. Let's pick them up. Is it? Yeah, that's that's not you want. Let's pick them up. I've earned a trophy. Instant Inferno. That's always good. Fuck! No! No, now we get to relive the whole thing. Yeah, that was that was pretty gruesome. Yep. At least you get to know like when everybody died. That's that's kind of nice of them. I didn't even realize she was still in there. I guess just Chris got out then. That makes sense. No! I wonder which ones of them you can save through different playthroughs. I guess we'll have to find out. Let's just see what happens here through the rest of the credits. I should have saved him. That was that was bad of me. Eh, nobody cares about Josh. It's his whole fault that this happened. Well, not really. It's his fault that most people died on this one. Yep. Uh, the old man, I, uh... I, I don't know how to describe him, I mean... He was crazy? You said you thought he was stalking you at first. Did anyone else in your group think that? Yeah, sure. Well, yeah, we... <laughs> Is it possible they could have killed him? Ah, uh, the police not believing what? in supernatural. What a surprise. No. No, you, you, you don't understand. Don't you understand? And if he attacked you... He saved my life. At the cost and of his I own. I watched him die. Yeah, you did. I was right there, and I could have done something. I tried to do something. It wasn't good enough. So much PTSD for these guys. I thought we were close. Nope. After his sisters disappeared, he'd come and talk to me. He said I was the only one who understood him. I thought... I thought we had a connection. If you need someone to talk to... I'm fine. Seriously, she has the eyes of a psychopath at this point. I said I'm fine. She's gonna go crazy and kill everybody in, like, the, the add-on or something. Have you found him? I just sense that. Yes, we have. What? And she's burnt. Where? Where is she? Sir. I need to talk to her. She was in the lodge. So, what you, only three of them survived. Chris, Matt, and Sam. In the that makes sense. In the fire. We recovered her body. No, no, no. So, I mean, three isn't a bad number, I guess. She can't be. Oh, God. Oh, fuck, no. This guy is so whipped, I swear. It was my fault Mike died. Yeah, it was. I wasn't supposed to move. But I did. Technically, you I killed two me. of them. So it's my fault that he died. Yep. My choice. Oh, well. You need to listen to me. I don't care if you believe me or not. It doesn't matter because you will. Yeah. You need to go down to the mines. What's in the mines, Sam? Death. I've seen what's down there. And I'd give anything to unsee it. So, so you're sending more down to see it. That makes the most sense. Alright, well I guess that's the end of this initial playthrough of uh, Until Dawn. We managed to survive uh, Matt, Chris, and Sam. I guess we'll play through again and either be uh, try to be good or try to be just kind of a flat out dick to them. Uh, and we'll see where we end up. We can either try to kill all of them or try to kill some of them. Um, I guess we'll have to just see what choices we make and try to start keeping a log. And I don't know if we're going to be completionist about it or not, but at least we'll play through it. I want to thank everybody for watching. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll see what either we continue with Until Dawn and different choices or if we go on to another Let's Play. So until next time, this is John speaking for Abby, and thank you for watching.